In this video, I'm going to go through the steps required to create a 3D boring bar in Mastercam's lathe environment. The first thing I'm going to start with is just start with getting my toolpath going. So here I'm just going to do a canned roughing toolpath where I'm going to basically rough out all of the ID of this part. Once I get into this dialog, I can right click and create a 3D tool. That's going to bring me here to my tool designer. So for the name, I can call this a boring bar and I'm going to have a CNMG insert in it. I'm going to click next. Now I'm going to add a component. So the component here is going to be the holder of the boring bar. So the actual boring bar itself. And I'm going to select a model here from an external file. And I'm going to use this file right here. So I'm going to click open. And that's going to bring that boring bar into the Mastercam environment. So here I need to select the actual holder of the part. So I'm going to select this pin that holds the insert, the clamp, that pin as well, and then the boring bar itself. So basically everything except for the insert. I'm going to hit end selection. At this point, it basically lets me see only what I selected. So the insert disappeared from my screen. And then I want to tell it essentially what kind of tool it is. So general turning, I can tell that it's a boring bar. Manufacturer, I could choose from the list. Otherwise, I can just leave it as master cam. I can throw in my code here. And then for my size, it's a cylindrical shank. And I'm going to choose this radial face here. Hit next. The machine side connection, I'm going to select. And I'm going to select the back end of the boring bar. And I'm going to hit enter. Mm -hmm. So here I can see the boring bar is vertical and the insert is towards me. That's all good. I'm going to click next. Mating, I don't need to mate anything. I'm just going to click OK. And then now my holder is defined. So I need to move on to my insert. So here I'm going to define an insert. And I'm going to grab the insert from the exact same model. I'm going to choose the model again because I know the insert's already made it in there. That brings it back in. And now I want to select just my insert. So my insert comes in. That's good. General turning. That's all good. Manufacturer. If I knew the manufacturer, I could change that again with the code. And then here, this is going to be a right handed tool. So I'm going to click next. And then the corner radius, I want to select that corner radius. And I can just select again the radial face of that insert. Click next. Mating. Again, I don't need to mate anything. It was already pre mated. So I'm going to click next. And then the cutting plane. So this is almost always going to be either top or bottom. So in this case, I'm going to choose top, say OK. And you basically just want to see the insert up direction is correct. Click next. Click next. And then now we're going to set up the tool how it's going to be set up. So if I go to top view, I basically want to see how this tool is going to be set up inside of my machine. So for a boring bar, this is going to be horizontal. It's right handed. So my default spindle is going to be left. I'm going to go counterclockwise and then I'm going to reverse it. And that way I see it like I would see it in my machine when it's mounted in my turret. And I can click next. And then my tool center point. So here I'll select from two lines. I'm going to select this line here and this line here. That's going to create our center. And then we're going to have our cut and our plunge direction. So here we're in the correct quadrant. But I would say that the cut and plunge should be opposite. So I'm going to cut this way and plunge this way. And then our side clearance angles. So if I hover my mouse over here, it tells me which side clearance it's referring to. So again, I can just select the line, this guy right here, the height. That's going to be between a center point and an end point. So again, I'll choose the center point of that circle, basically to this end point of where it can stop cutting. We'll do the exact same thing on this side. So choose this line. And then again, from the center point to the end point. Click next. In here, we can set up our custom feeds and speeds, set up our coolant style. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. 
Now our tool is fully defined, so I can click OK once more. And then it comes in here and I can see clearly that that boring bar has been fully defined. So under my rough parameters here, I'll just throw in a few values so that we can see what this is going to look like. And then I'm going to extend contour to stock and click OK. So now if I was to shade my model, go ahead and do a back plot. I can see here that the tool that I created is coming in and cutting into that part. And that's it.